Hey guys, how's it going? Jim here, SPFBuilding.com. Um, what I got lined up here, as you can see, three different balancers. Uh, this series of videos I'm going to do is going to be aimed at the guys who are purchasing used. A um, ton of guys in the used market, tons of parts, and tons of junk. Um, not so much junk in the fact that the, the, the actual part is junk, but not right for your application. Um, because honestly, you can really only believe about 50% of what a seller is telling you. And that's not based on the seller giving you bad information or trying to mislead you or lie to you per se. Um, just that he might not have the right information. Um, a lot of these parts in the, in the aftermarket, um, surprisingly, don't have part numbers. Now, this video is bad because this is a Romac, this is a power bond, this is a pro race, and you can pretty much identify that by some numbers on it. But there's a lot of balancers out there with nothing on them whatsoever, or you can't read them, or it's gone, or whatever the case may be. So we're just going to look at a few key things to look at and measure, um, if at all possible, with, with a 6-inch caliper. And it'll tell you uh, pretty much what the uh, balancer is for application-wise. Because the biggest problem is, as you can see, a clear-cut difference. These two appear to be the same uh, when, in fact, these are two Fox body balancers. This is a balancer that will um, cover all the way from early V-belt all the way through Fox body with the use of a spacer. Well, let's pretend there's no spacer whatsoever. This is all that's being sold to you for $100 it's nice and pretty and you're thinking well that's great um, that's me I'm gonna buy it right now so let's look at how you can get caught off guard buying stuff that um, for whatever reason not right for your application uh, and then you're stuck selling it and turning right back around and, and, and pushing it back into the marketplace so uh, just trying to give you a little idea um, of any missteps you can take specifically on balancers balancers are kind of tricky because Ford uh, over the years, we'll start in the early 60s, mid 60s, late 60s, you know, 289, 302 stuff, um, will be of this variation. And the first thing to, to look at is, let me flip these over real fast. The first thing you're going to be curious about um, most often is the fact, what is, uh, what is the balance on the balancer?